You may not know this, but women make up two thirds of Alzheimer's cases. It's the only neurological disorder affecting women more than men. The question is why? A growing body of scientific research is shedding light on how hormones might play a role. Join us via Skype with more insight as the Associate Director of the Alzheimer's Prevention Clinic at Weill Cornell Medical Center, Dr. Lisa Mascani. Doc. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Such an important topic. And some people would say, well, yeah, it makes sense that more women are getting Alzheimer's because in general, women live longer. But you say that is not the explanation. Many people think that Alzheimer's kind of turns on in your brain as you get older. But in reality, what happens is that Alzheimer's starts when people are in their 40s and 50s, with changes in the brain that then um, gradually progress over time leading to clinical symptoms when people are in their 70s. So what puts women at, at a higher risk then? And the very important thing to look into is the menopause and the loss of fertility. The reason that affects the brain is that estrogen is not just a hormone that makes you have kids. Estrogen is also a brain hormone. It literally shields your brain from harm so as you lose the estrogens inside your brain, that really leaves your brain more vulnerable to aging and diseases like Alzheimer's. So Dr. Moscone, I know your team actually did a study on Alzheimer's and women. Can you tell us about the results of that? Yes, we did a few studies. And um, my, my background is in brain imaging. So we do a lot of brain scans. And we looked at men and women who were 40 to 60 years of age. And what we found uh, with the brain scans is that men are fine. If you're 40 to 60 years old, by and large, men are okay. Uh, what happens to women is that women who are really uh, far away from menopause are fine. But those who are perimenopausal, almost menopausal, their brains show energy declines of up to 30%. And this drops the energy activity go down even more in women who are postmenopausal. So what are your thoughts about hormone replacement therapy as it might protect women's brains? Starting HRT after menopause is not helpful and actually can really increase risk of cardiovascular disease and dementia. But starting HRT before menopause or within a couple of years after menopause seems to be beneficial and protective against Alzheimer's and also against uh, heart disease and stroke.